Your team needs to manage your Postgres data, but traditional tools like PG Admin and Command Line Interface do not work for you. Watch this video and I'll show you how to build your custom web-based Postgres Admin in just 5 minutes. Let's get started! In this video, I'll be using a tool called UI Bakery. It's a low-code development platform that allows you to build user interfaces on top of different databases, including Postgres. It offers free plan and you can use it in cloud or self-host on your local server. Now, assuming you've already created a UI Bakery account, let's start by creating a new app. Let's click on this Create New button, Create New App and enter our Postgres admin application name. And before we actually begin building our admin application, we need to add our Postgres database as a data source. We click this data sources icon and connect it using our Postgres database connector. And to enter all of this information and your database is going to be connected. I have already pre-connected my data source and as you can see, it has fetched the structure of my database. Let's go back to the app. A classic admin panel typically includes metric cards that display general business performance information. Let's define some actions that would fetch the total number of customers, payments, films and staff members in our chain. So first things first, let's create a new action and this would action would fetch the data from our MySQL database. Uh, this can be SQL query. Okay, the actions have been created and now it's time to add metric cards. First, let's add metric card for customer number. And I can change the title to customers. And I can also show that. Now, let's add metric for payments. Films. And finally, let's add metric for staff. The metrics are ready. Now let's add a table to display our customers. Just like previously, we need to add an action that would fetch, um, you know, we can use the load table action, we fetch the data from customers, we can execute this action. You can see that the customers have fetched and now we just drop the table component inside of the canvas. As you can see, the table already has some structure, but we can show and hide some columns that we don't want to show. And this is actually a pretty good table that already contains some data. But what if we want to allow our users to change some data? We can all allow them to change any data, but for this video let's only allow them to change the data in the active column. So I click on the active column and I can make this field, uh, field al always as editable. And Let's have it submit triggers as changed. Okay, and now what we need to do, we need to go here to the triggers and we need to add the edit trigger and let's add an action that would actually update role inside of the table, the customer table, where customer ID is actually 
um, edit draw, edit draw, and data, and customer ID. And we update the active bull record, and this is going to be pretty much the same. The active bull. And now, as you can see, when I click this, the day the action is being executed and the data inside of the database is being updated. Lastly, let's display information about specific customer payments as an aggregated chart as well as the table with corresponding payment records. So first things first, as usual, let's add an action that would fetch our payments. So this is going to be load table, payments table, and then we can, we can reference the selected um, customer ID of the selected role. And if I execute this action, you can see that these are all payments of a specific customer. Great, now let's add the chart that would represent the payments. Let's call it customer payments. Uh, the title can be payments. The grouping, we can change the grouping to be grouping by month and we can show the some amount of all the payments of a specific customer we can resize the chart a bit and that's great and finally let's drop a table underneath this chart that would display all the payments of a specific customer we can also uh, make this column a primary key display it without formatting um, and maybe show and hide some of the values that we don't need. And now as you can see if I change the pages, if I... Oh, the only thing that we need, that we forgot to do is to add an action that would um, execute our load payment action on row change. For instance, like here, we change the row and you can see um, the data inside of this table and this chart is being changed. And uh, the only thing we need to do to release this application is just go here and click publish release and our application will be accessed by uh, end users, which we can invite using users and permission tabs here. That's it. Now you basically have your working Postgres admin application. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under this video or uh, go to uibakery.io and check out the tool. We'll be happy to have you as our user. Take care.